Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you some of the new features in Sims you Share 2.5, particularly how to add your own victims, apparatus, tools, and things like that. So let's say now you've opened up, you've installed Sims you Share 2.5. The big new thing we have here is if you go into Utility, you'll see there's a new plugin called Picture. Click on Picture, it opens up in a browser window. This is for Windows and Mac and I get to choose a picture, PNG, JPEG, or GIF. I click on Open, and it copies it right in there. And there's my new picture. You see, I just like other effects, I can make it bigger or smaller. I can rotate it if I want, put it wherever I like. And it has a certain set of properties. I can re-choose a different image. I can change brightness, opacity, ch color, blur. Blur might be useful if I want to kind of make it blend into the scene a little bit more. See what other things are there. Um, transform is for flipping it. Different horizontal, vertical. Delay timing, so all my timing, fade in, fade out. A new section called tap control. And something I'll get to in a minute called add to picture cache. So these are the new sets of things that are available with your own picture, which can be victims, it can be tools, it can be apparatus, really anything that you want to put. So when I click done here, and I play, there's my ladder, and that's basic. Now, what you can do more than just the basic is let's say that now I want to use this ladder somewhere else. Now I could certainly copy and paste it. I could click on it and use my copy function to copy it somewhere else and copy it to a different scenario. But what we also realize is you may want to create a cache of pictures, certain icons or things that you use a lot. So if, you, if we go into properties, you'll see something over here that says add to picture cache. If I click on it, it'll say, well, what category do I want to use? Let's say I'll call it picture cache. I click OK and I say, give me a title for this because I'm going to have to know what it is um, uh, I'm gonna, just from the name of it. So I'm going to call it side ladder. So I hit OK and it says it's added to the picture cache. Now, if I'm anywhere else, even here, plus if I look, I have a new category, picture cache and side ladder. So I can actually now add it to really any scenario. It stays in my cache. I don't have to worry about that original picture. So if I go to this scenario here and I want to bring in my ladder, I just go to picture cache, I set side ladder, and there it is. And I can now manipulate it and do everything that I want. Now if I decide that I don't want a picture cache, I want it in some other category. Maybe I want to create a ladder category. What I can do is go into, when I'm ready, ready to edit, I go manage picture cache. And it's, notice here it has picture cache. I say, well, side ladder. I'm going to change it. Instead of side ladder being in the picture cache, I'm going to edit it and say, I'm going to create a new category called ladders. And so I click ladders. And I say, what's the title for this? I'll leave it side ladders. Hit OK. And now it says ladder side ladders. And I can add more ladders. I can do whatever I want. Add more categories. When I go back here, let me get rid of this over here. And I go over here. And now, notice there's a new category, Ladders. So I can create my own categories with my own pictures that have it really very easy to quickly load. I don't have to remember where those pictures were on my disk or copy them from other scenarios. So for example, I could actually go here, let's say, into this scenario. Let's say I want to now um, have some markers. So I could actually go and say, I'm going to um, let me go and add a picture, little markers for a map. So I add a picture. I'm going to go and say, let's say, that's going to be my Battalion Chief 1. And now there's that. I can go in here, and if I add it to the picture cache, I'll call it over here like um, Apparatus Markers. I click OK, and I call this one BC1. Now all of a sudden, now that picture is just there, it's not part of the cache. I'm going to delete it from here. But if I look in my menu, if I could look at apparatus markers, there's BC1. And I can keep doing that, create engines and ladders and create other categories. So that's a way that if I wanted to bring in BC1 quickly, I just go to apparatus markers, BC1, and I can then... Now the trouble here is, let's say I have my map. Let me go over to some overhead view. And um, let me go to my overhead view, and I'm going to say, and I could have copied and pasted it here, but I'm going to say bring in, let's say, Battalion Chief 1, and actually let me put a little panel underneath it. 
So I'm going to put use one of my utilities, which is the uh, shape. So I say here shape. We rotate that, scale it up, sort of almost like a little panel of different tokens. I'm going to show you how you can actually move the markers around. So I'm going to go here to make it just a little bit of a strip. Bring it down over to the bottom. And let me drop it beneath that there. So now I can go here and let me lower this down, almost like I'm going to be using to place my marker, almost not for my apparatus placement. Now if I pre do this, you'll see here there's the thing, but I can't really move it. That's not very useful. Well, you might have seen originally there was something there in the properties for the picture. I click on it and I say tap control. Tap control, I can either, like other pictures and victims, clear it on tap by tapping on it, hide or show, or make it movable. So I make it movable and I say yes. Now, when it's movable, watch what happens. If I'm here in the scenario and I say, oh, battalion one, we're going to put up over here. Or we're going to move battalion one's going to be there. So while I'm playing my scenario, and I like to hide this menu, I actually can move tokens around on the screen. So when I go down, let's say back to my street view, if I go over somewhere else and let me go back up to my map view, that position stays exactly where it is. So I can say, oh, Battalion 1, we should change our command post up to off on this road. So now not only you can bring your own pictures in and map markers, but you can also move them around and make them clickable. And so this is a really powerful feature. Let me show you what I did with a little bit, um, if I go down to this street over here, there's my, I guess I have my battalion one, I'm still playing. I created a whole set of tokens. So if I go my map view here in, an, in a different view, you see I created engine one, engine 22. So now I can actually do all my placement and you can certainly make more than one ladder, one ladder two, ladder six or whatever. A little panel over here, um, you can make extra tokens, map markers to do your apparatus placement or any kind of planning. That gives you a little bit of a view of the new features, which, let me go back to, uh, to, the, to where I had side D. Probably, I think I still had my ladder. Let's go back over to, there, whoop, got this. so side D. There it is, there I have my ladder, I have my picture, and I'm able to remember, take a look here, add to picture cache, which creates a new menu category, add in tap control, make it movable, make it tap to clear, as well as all the delay timing that you expect, fade in when, fade in uh, duration, fade in out, and also setting the timing when it starts. That's just a quick overview relatively of the new features. We hope you like them, certainly. Let us know, give us a question, uh, uh, feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.